Hello, Taurus. This is a bonus reading for you, the five-card spread for early August 2019. And as you know, this may not resonate with all Taurus individuals. But this is for Taurus, the main energies coming in in early August 2019 for Taurus. Positive, hopefully positive energies coming in for Taurus. Early August 2019, five-card spread. Let's see what the beginning energies are. I'm hoping for a really good reading. I'm hoping for a very positive reading. But if we don't get one, we'll work it out. Let's see, coming in. A completion of some sort. Sometimes with the four of wands in the upright, sometimes it's about happy homes, and this may be what you're wanting, and this is what you're aiming for. Or maybe this was what you'll somewhat get. But it's a completion of happiness in some way. But it could be like, like I said, this is what you're wanting. Or somebody may be wanting it with you. In the past, you feel like you had a little bad luck with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You felt like things weren't moving forward. You felt like um, the universe, in a way, was against you. It's all feelings, though. But you've, you you had something that was a bit of a misfortune with the Wheel, with, with the wheel of Fortune in reverse. The obstacle... Could be you, Queen of Disc. This could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They're in the upright, but it's in the obstacle position. We'll find out more. Remember, when I clarify these, it'll change the story up or make it really interesting. So, you know, stick with me a little bit. Current environment, you feel like no one's working with you. You feel like every time you go for something, it just, you know, turns to ashes with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Could be that also that some of you are not working hard enough or working actually too hard with it, with it in reverse. It depends on what the next card will be. We'll clarify. Outside um, influences or what is coming towards you, someone's going to give you a lot of options or offers or situations that you feel none of them are good for you. You feel like nothing is coming in that you want. And we'll find out more what these are. Uh, uh, offers or options are going to be. That's the seven of wands in the upright. For some of you, somebody just may want one thing from you, if you know what I mean. Just letting you know. Just letting you know they're wanting something from you. It's also known as a debauchery card, you know, um, where someone is uh, asking something that not necessarily is 100% positive for you or is, or is going to have gain for you in some way. It's not going to help you out, in other words. In the end, you may uh, drop something to avoid a tower situation with this person. And what's good about these readings, it tells you what's coming up so you can avoid towers. And it looks like you're going to avoid a tower because it's in reverse. <clears throat> I'm seeing now that you may think that you may not want to work with this situation if someone's offering you something. But with Taurus, in the obstacle position, it's like you're thinking about it for some reason. Because in the past, it's like well, nothing else good is coming in. Maybe I should consider this um, situation that someone is offering me, and maybe it'll work out. But uh, I hope not. But it looks like you're turning something down, but you are getting a lot of offers, just letting you know. But the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, why are you there for Taurus? What is going on? Why do you feel so unlucky? Why do you feel unlucky, Taurus? You're trying to break free from a negative situation with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Uh, situations that were kind of devious and kind of done behind your back in a way. Someone tried to be a little sneaky and you try to break free from an unfortunate situation. Possibly with a person or a job. It doesn't matter. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. And you want the Seven of Swords in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus in the past? You are coming out of disappointment with this. You are coming out of a disappointed situation of something that did not work out, was not in your favor. You were breaking free from it, and you were coming out of disappointment, okay, with the Five of Cups in reverse. Now, the obstacle could be you, or you could be another earth sign, or someone who you're trying to, you know, um, gain stability with, or they're trying to gain stability with you. But the Queen of, Queen, Queen of Disc is in the upright, but is in the opposition section. So why are you the obstacle, or the Queen of Disc, why are you the obstacle for Taurus? 
Wheel of Fortune in reverse again. You're thinking about those past situations. Even though you're coming out of it, you're thinking, man, I had a lot of bad luck or situations that didn't work out for me. So Queen of Discs in the upright. Wheel of Fortune in reverse while you're there for Taurus is the obstacle. The obstacle is fortune just wasn't on your side. And you're wanting so hard, you're wanting so much to uh, start a new passionate beginning with the Ace of Wands. You were hoping for that, and you may get that if you go for that. But just be careful of people wanting just one thing from you and not, and not willing to offer anything else, you know, that you will be wanting. Now, the current environment, you have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And I told you what that was about, but let's go ahead and ask again from the universe. Eight of Pentacles in reverse while you're there for Taurus. Yeah, you're having trouble walking away from it, something that's not working with the Eight of Cups. Maybe that's what it is. You feel like you have no options and you can't walk away even though something's not working. Eight of Pentacles, nine, eight, eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, both in reverse while you're there for Taurus in early August. And you need to make a sound decision. You're unable to walk from a situation, but the universe is telling you, and you know this for a fact, that you need to make a decision, a final lasting decision with the Eon. You need to make a decision on yourself so things can turn in your favor again. And what is coming towards you or the outside environment is the Seven of Cups. They call that the luxury card sometimes, I think. Isn't that the one that's a luxury card? It may not be, maybe a different one. But this is debauchery, and it's basically um, someone making all these offers and, and stuff, and they're just not good for you. They're just not good for you, so be careful of this. I mean, they're going to make you all these promises, and they end up not being what you're wanting. So, Seven of Cups in the upright. Why are you there for Taurus? Coming towards them. Could be a Knight of Wands, this could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, or it could be just someone non-committal, Mr. Don Juan, you know, Miss Don Juan, Miss, I don't know, what's the, you know, uh, someone just non-committal, someone that just wants, like I said, one thing, and then they're out the door. So, Seven of Cups in the upright, Knight of Wands in reverse, while you're there for Taurus, it's the outside environment. Yeah, someone's just had lust card. They're just wanting one thing from you, Taurus. Whoever this is, and it may have a lot of fire energy or fiery type energy, but they're very non-committal. They're not wanting what you're wanting. Let me put it that way. Like I said, they're just wanting one thing from you. So, you know, it's up to you. Maybe you want this. You know, you could take it up if you want, but I don't see you being real happy with it because I see the tower in reverse. You're saying, no thanks, you know. Um... Yeah, Taurus, you're not that desperate for this person, possibly. But you got the tower in reverse. This is not somebody that wants a steady relationship with you who's going to come up to you in early August and offer part of themselves. Part of themselves that they're going to offer is not what you're wanting. And it could, you know, you know, bring on, you know, something infectious, you know, if you're not careful. Seriously, with that Seven of Cups, it's like that. The tower in reverse is the final outcome. Why are you there? And then we'll sum it all up. Why are you there in reverse and you want it in reverse? The tower, why are you in reverse for Taurus? Yeah, because this is not bringing you your happy home. See, um, you had that four of wands to begin with. This is what you're wanting. You're wanting a certain situation from people or a person or whatever to bring you happiness. You are not considered whatever they're offering you that happiness, okay? You're thinking they're going to bring you unhappiness and a tower situation, so you are going to avoid this person. So the tower in reverse, four, four of wands in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? In reverse in the very end. What's going on? Give me another one more card and then we'll sum this up and see what else we can come up with. Why are you there? Yeah, you're wanting blessings and growth. You're going to avoid a tower situation because you know what you want. You want your blessings. You want your growth. You want things that are going to be uh, positive for you. You're going to want um, something else with, besides what this person has to offer. Even though you, in the current environment, you're making a decision. It looks like you're going to make a final decision not to work with this person, even though for some reason you have not fully walked away from them. In the end, you will say, ah, no thanks, like I said. Let me get one more card for the tower. 
in reverse, the completion card in reverse, and the Empress in the upright way there is the final outcome. So this, this is a warning for Taurus. Whoever's going to... Yeah, you're not going to even offer a situation with them because the reason why you're avoiding this tower situation because you realize it's not a new start that you want that's going to bring you long-term stability. You're going to think it's a failed situation. You're trying to come out of failure yourself with the seven of pentacles in reverse, and you will come out of failure. But it's looked like you're telling them, I don't think so. Because you're trying to come out of, you know, negative situations that were unfortunate in the past, okay? You're not willing to restart and restart and restart with negative situations that never work out for you. You are having trouble moving on from troubled waters or somebody else's with the Six of Swords. It has something to do with memories of the past. But remember to collaborate with others that are more positive in the future and go for work work towards your happiness. It could have to do with your employment in the end where you, this is where you're going to be concentrating on work and um, um, turning your situation around. But I do not see you accepting this from this person. You will see them for your true colors. Let me put it that way. And you're going to have your truth and you're saying, you're going to say, you know, you know, hell no. You know, you're going to say hell no. I don't know if you can see all these. And you're going to come out of betrayal. You're going to come out of feeling stabbed in the back with the Ten of Swords because you're going to be watching yourself. And eventually, new love will come. The love that you want with the Two of Cups. New love will come. Just don't take any offers that aren't good for you. Because the, the, whoever this is that you're going to be dealing with is not what you're wanting. Or maybe some of you, maybe this is what you're wanting. And you can go for it. But I see you avoiding a tower situation. So what I, what I see the card saying is, even though you had past failures and you're thinking on them, and someone is having trouble a little bit moving on, because I do see the queen over there in the obstacle position thinking, oh, I such a misfortune. I see the cards telling you to go towards work and working towards what makes things positive for you, even if it has to do with a job. Throw yourself into your job because it can become successful. You are going to tell people what you think because you are not going to be stabbed in the back again. And love, real love will come later. You know, they call this like the soulmate type card. We have many soulmates. I call it more like a twin flame. We don't have it, but one of those. But that is your reading, Taurus. Wait for the good ones. Wait for the good person that's there for you. Not this person, which I feel that you are going to avoid them because you don't want that tower situation no more. And I'm going to let this go, and I will upload it soon as I can. Bye.